best in the sports world where it is, like Jay was saying, pressure, pressure from media and fans and all that stuff, but you are keeping it very human, like throwing the dice and you know, all that stuff. Like, where's, how do you bridge that? How do you, because you have to live in both worlds. Yeah. How do you, how do you, how do you manage that? I just don't look at it as pressure. Because like a Boston media member or somebody expected me to win, like they don't have a weapon, like they're not gonna like come after me if we don't win. Like it's, it, they're saying words, so like they don't mean anything. They're just words. You're just saying them because you have to say them. You're contractually obligated to write a, you know, 500 page article after or word article after. They're just words. You can't do anything, and so it's just a made up word. We don't have a pressure. If we lose, we're not losing our life. Like we're not surgeons. We're not like in, in the military. We coach basketball for a living. And no one's putting more pressure and expectations than we are on ourselves. And it's like we have a responsibility uh, and we have an ownership. And like I ask guys all the time, like, would you rather have someone expect you to lose or win? Like if you came up to me and be like, man, I really expected you to lose that game, I would be pissed. But it's like you come up to me like you should have won that game. It's like, yeah, that's, that's what we signed up for. You know, so I think it's just the perspective of how you look at it and like the truth of it. You know? But words have power. Words. No, they don't. If you let them, like if you allow words to take your personal power, then yes. So I don't allow words to take my personal power, and like that's just important. Like words don't have your, they only have power if you allow them to. And like that's what I try to teach my kids. It's like I don't give a shit what someone says to you. Like, did you allow that to have an impact on you? Like he didn't put his hands on you. He didn't touch you. He didn't like do anything. He said something to you. So now you have a choice to like decide how you're going to interpret that. So like it's not pressure. There's nothing anyone in this circle can do to me that's going to impact my identity and who I am as a person or a coach. We're either going to win or we're not. And 40 years from now, none of you are invited to my funeral, and that's it. Like, <laughs> that's it. I saw you chatting with Baylor and Anton over there as the only newcomers in this group. 